warming up with some absolute value problems today. So ultimately, we're going to do this problem uh, for the SAT in Desmos, but you still want to know how to do it by hand for your math class. So to kind of break apart these absolute value bars, we're going to create two equations that are really similar to the first one. Our first equation is going to be 2x plus 1 is equal to 5 exactly, just without our absolute value bars. And our second equation is going to be 2x plus 1 equals negative 5. So we just flip the sign of what's after the equal sign. And we can get rid of this now. And at this point, we just solve for our two solutions, right? They want A and B. And I have two equations I can solve for X. So if I subtract 1, subtract 1, it should be 2X is equal to 4 or X is equal to 2. And for our other equation, it's going to be similar. Minus 1, minus 1. 2x is equal to negative 6 or x is equal to negative 3. Now we just have to finish it. I see what is the value of a minus b. So it doesn't matter the order you go in, it should come out the same. So 2 minus a negative 3 and then I take the absolute value of that. So I think that should just be the absolute value of 5 or just 5 because that just turns into plus positive. So yeah, well, our answer is going to be 5 here, but just to show how to do it in Desmos too because because that's personally what I would use. So if we pull Desmos up here, you're going to have to use the, uh, the little keyboard at the bottom to get the special equations out. So if I pull this up, I should see this little absolute value button. I click on that and then we're going to slide this back down and you can kind of see it like activated at the top now. So to fill this out, I see 2x uh, plus 1 and then I have to end the absolute value bar and then equals 5. And this is normal. I should see my graph giving me just two solutions, right? I'm not actually trying to see a graph. I'm trying to see what my X values are. So I see right here, negative one, negative two, negative three, and off to the right here, positive two. So it gives me the same exact solutions. Uh, and yeah, Desmos is just going to be a little bit of a shortcut there to get our negative three and our two. And yeah, those are the two ways to solve number 17.